father converted, and let's say he has a 15-year-old daughter that didn't convert. She's not allowed to ever sleep over at his house. Unless he's married as a wife, and she, this young girl is sleeping in a different room, and the wife is always home. He's never allowed to be alone with his own daughter, biological daughter. Not allowed. She's considered 100% a goya that's not related to him, even though she's his biological daughter. The Rambam Paskins Lalacha, that according to the Torah, if a father, not just a brother and a sister, that's needless to say, but if a father and a daughter convert, Father is, let's say, 40 years old, Christian, Catholic, whatever, he decides to convert to Judaism. His daughter, 18, 19 years old, 20 years old, she also wants to convert. According to the Torah, they're allowed, after they convert, they're allowed to marry each other. According to the Torah. The sages instituted a ruling that uh, they're not allowed, but according to the actual Torah, they're allowed to marry each other. Why? Because once they convert, they're two completely different people. They're strangers to each other. They're strangers to each other. They're allowed to marry each other. Brother and sister are allowed to marry each other. Now, the sages instituted not to do it because they knew that the world would not understand it. So the only times that there is an exception to this is if they move to a place where no one knows them. But even then it's a problem. Even then it's a problem and that's why the sages are instituted. But I can tell you that there have been exceptions. Uh, yes, yes. And I know some people, oh, it's disgusting. It's incest. It's, I understand what you're saying. I get you. You're thinking from a uh, secular mind. I'm talking about Torah here. Torah is not supposed to agree with your secular mind. The point being is that according to the Torah, there are certain things that are unacceptable by the secular mind, by the society. And therefore, even the sages instituted certain things, certain takanot, in order to protect the honor of the Torah. But nonetheless, when you look at black and white, father and a daughter that converted, or two, a brother and a sister that converted, technically are allowed to marry each other. It's according to the Torah, not the sages. Tor sages forbid it. The sages are more strict. Torah allows it. Why they forbid it? Lest the goyim, the non-Jews, say that the Jews are uh, ancestral people and and, and, uh, and so on. Allah is, Gemara says, Shuchan Aruch says, Rambam says, when someone converts, they are gifted a new neshama. Chatam Sofer says, no, it's not just a new neshama. It's a new body too. Their body goes through changes too. And I've seen... I've seen this in black and white. I've seen this in real life. Not just a spiritual change, but literally a physical change in people after they convert, no matter what age. A physical change. Now some of you are saying, ah, you're crazy. Okay, crazy, whatever you want. Say whatever you want. I've seen it with my own eyes. So there's a physical difference in people when they convert, not just a spiritual difference. Point being is, they're no longer the same person as they were a minute before they converted.